one of my long going project. Um, it is a racing simulator. Um, this one is a uh, three axis, so two axis uh, for roll and pitch, and the other axis is the traction loss. And this is uh, completely DIY, my own design from the ground up. Um, I have started working on a, I started out with a wood version, which is, you know, just plywood and MDF. Um, that worked out okay, um, but it's, uh, it, you know, it, it was flexing and it had a lot of issues, so I finally broke down and uh, learned how to weld and uh, went with, you know, the whole steel frame and welding and all that. So that was a long story. Um, anyways, finally learned how to weld pretty good. Um, a lot of grinding involved um, and then a lot of sketch up to draw my design and everything. Um, but it's turned out working good. I don't have enough time to play with it that much. Um, you know, I haven't either bother tuning it the, the the system that well so you know it's just I haven't tuned at all so it run like crap but it works um, so I'll just show you around and uh, let you check that out so this is basically a, a car seat a real racing car seat you can get them off of eBay for like $110 um, so that's the easy part just buy the whole chair and then um, I'll show you the design uh, of my SketchUp and I'll uh, put a picture up on the screen so you can see it. Uh, basically you have two um, frame and I have a, a base frame which is um, just kind of like an A shape on the bottom and then um, there is another uh, frame which is another base that sits on the top. Now this whole top is um, sitting on a pivot so there is a center bearings there's a a, a, a a bearings that I custom made using my CNC machine so it's basically like, like what they call a, a, a lazy Susan is what they are but instead of just using the lazy Susan I have um, I CNC it out to aluminum plate um, I cut out a little circle bevel and then I load them up with um, uh, ball bearings in the circle and then just have an anchor in the middle so the top plate will rotate um, uh, you know against the uh, the bottom plate and the bottom plates secure to the bottom a frame and the top plate secure to the top a frame so that's pretty much it that's allow the whole top base to um, to have traction loss so this thing would move you know, put, it would slide left and right, in which I'll do a demo here pretty quick after I explain everything. So that would be that's being um, driven by this motor right here. So obviously there's going to be three motors. So this motor um, would do the traction, and then this motor on the left right here, um, it's doing the um, the, the uh, pitch and the yaw. I mean, I'm sorry, the pitch and the roll. So there's another motor over here. Sorry about the lighting, it's kind of dark. So there's the uh, the other motor. So basically three motors. And I want to make it as compact as possible. Um, to make it as small as possible. But still have the, uh, the three axis movement. Um, so here's the shifter. It's uh, So the shifter is being tied to the chair. So it moves with the chair. Um, and then the same thing, the steering. The steering would move um, with the uh, the top frame, um, so on with the uh, pedals. Um, only the monitor is stationary, so the monitor is right here, and it's, it's stationary to the bottom frame. So the monitor it's hooked up to the bottom frame. Um, Everything is pretty much adjustable. I can slide this. So what I did right here, this is just a square tubing. This one is it fits inside the bottom one here. So that allowed me to slide it up and down. Same thing with the steering. I can slide it up and down. Um, same, same situation right here. I can um, adjust the, the, the whole steering, make it slide forward or backwards. Um, same, same thing with the shifter. You can move it up and down, uh, right and left. Um, that's pretty much it. The whole thing is running on um, Arduinos. Uh, it's an Arduino board. 
with um, three uh, monster motor uh, controllers. So these motors are still brush motors and then uh, there is a uh, potentiometers on each motors and that goes to the uh, mon uh, monster motor controller. Uh, if you want more information on that, you just got to go and do your Google search and then go into the forums and to the X simulator forums and then you can find all the information in there. Obviously, I'm not showing you how to do all of that because it's a, um, it, it's a lot to learn and you will have to go and do your own research. I'm just showing off, you know, my design, my system and uh, show you that it works. But uh, obviously I can't go over and tell you, show you how to do um, everything step by step. Um, and this, the steering is just basically uh, the cheap uh, Logitech D G27. Um, one day I will, uh, if you guys watch my other stuff, one day I will eventually maybe have a day and then move this thing into my home theater and then run the whole projector and you know run with my home theaters and that's going to be awesome but until now i just have to live with the uh, 21 inch uh, monitor right there and the... so far it's worked pretty good so i will do a demo run so you can see um see how it works all right so i just want to put this out there that uh, my driving really sucks um, i drive really good in real life um, but I suck as driving the video game one and by no means I am no Toretto so just don't expect too much because I don't play on this thing that much um, I mean I had it built and finished it and everything but still haven't um, cleaned up all the wirings and do the tunings and um, basically I only drove it like probably like maybe total an hour and a half on it so far so um, okay so here we go Thank you. 